A lot of people have been moving from Toronto to Hamilton, Ontario, and I have been helping a lot of them with this process. My name's Daniel Hale. I'm a licensed real estate agent in the surrounding area, and I wanna to talk to you guys about why this is happening. It was actually reported as well that last year in 2022, almost 100,000 people left Toronto, and 78% of them moved to the surrounding areas. Let's talk about it and jump into those reasons as to why. Starting with the biggest reason, there is more bang for your buck in Hamilton, Ontario. Toronto's housing prices have gone through the roof and it's a lot more affordable in Hamilton, Ontario. The average price for a home in Toronto, Ontario right now sits just over $1,000,000. $30,000 and the average price for a home in Hamilton, Ontario sits just over $750,000 at the time of this video. So you can see just off of the home prices, you can save almost $300,000 just by moving to a different city, you get a lot more bang for your buck, you're gonna get a bigger house with a bigger lot and a lot more room. So home affordability is a huge factor. Let's be honest, things have been going up in price and it's getting a little bit more costly to live, especially in Toronto. So this is a huge reason as to why a lot of people are moving from Toronto to Hamilton. Which leads me to my next point, it is very family friendly in Hamilton, Ontario. Now, before you freak out at this comment, it also depends on the area. I'm talking about Waterdown, Stony Creek, Ancaster, Dundas, all of those areas. The Hamilton Mountain is also a good one. Now, if we're talking about being in the middle of Hamilton, then of course there are some areas that you might want to avoid. But Hamilton has a lot of surrounding areas that are very family friendly. A lot of people reach out to me from this channel to discuss where they should live in Hamilton, Ontario, where they should start a family and where their kids should go to school. Because let's be honest, safety is one of the most important things. And as a parent, I have kids myself. And one thing that helps me sleep the best at night is to make sure that my kids are going to a good school. They're living in a very family friendly neighborhood where their neighbors are their friends. There's other kids playing on the street and they're in a good area. So another reason for it is the family friendly atmosphere and make sure that you're in a better environment to raise your kids and start a family. Now the next reason is the population. Hamilton, Ontario is a big city with a small town feel. Now it also depends on where you are living. If you're living in downtown Hamilton, then you might feel like it's not a small town feel. But if that's for you, that's totally okay. You're still gonna get a lot better of a price than living in downtown Toronto for where you choose to live. Now, if you're choosing to live on the Hamilton Mountains, some of the other surrounding areas, Waterdown, Stony Creek, Ancaster, all those other areas that are surrounded in Hamilton, Ontario, then you will get that small town feel. Now, Toronto, Ontario's population is just over 2.8 million people. That's a lot of people. Hamilton, Ontario's population is just over 800,000. And that's a really big difference. So Toronto is starting to get more populated and with the things that have happened over the last couple of years, not everybody wants to be in a populated city such as Toronto. So they're choosing to move over to Hamilton, Ontario where it's less crowded. Now the next reason is the traffic and the fact that it is commutable to Toronto. When it comes to Hamilton, Ontario, the day-to-day -day traffic is rare and it's a lot less of an inconvenience than Toronto's pileups and the overall crowded, busy traffic areas. If you've been stuck on the highway going into Toronto or out of Toronto and in Toronto, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's like you're trying to get 15 minutes down the road and it took you 45 minutes to an hour. Now Hamilton's traffic flows very well at all hours of the day. There's a lot of one-way streets and streets with four lanes and the traffic flows, you don't get stuck bumper to bumper and a little frustrated, it is easy to commute throughout Hamilton, Ontario. Now when it comes to getting to Toronto from Hamilton, Ontario, 
it is about a 45 minute drive. So living in Hamilton and still being able to commute to Toronto for work is a very ideal situation because you're paying a lot less to live here, getting a lot more bang for your buck, and you can still drive into Toronto for those employment options. However, if you do choose to find other employment options in Hamilton, Ontario, there is a lot to offer. Now making sure that you guys are aware the traffic does suck when it comes to getting from Hamilton to Toronto during rush hours, such as 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. That will take you longer than 45 minutes. However, there are ways around it, such as taking the GO train or getting a transponder so that you can jump on the 407 and have a much easier commute. So either take the GO train or 407, those options are there for you. And speaking of driving, in Hamilton, Ontario, you have parking absolutely everywhere. And I'm not talking about those paid green peas. You have parking all over Hamilton, Ontario, and in a lot of neighborhoods, you're even allowed to park on the street overnight. So when it comes to parking in Hamilton, Ontario, you won't have any issues, you won't have to park at a green pea all the time, or put your money in one of the machines, you're good to go, tons of parking all throughout Hamilton. Now the next reason is the outdoor lifestyle that Hamilton, Ontario has to offer. It is known as the city of waterfalls. There's tons of parks, there's tons of trails. Hamilton, Ontario has over 100 waterfalls. It's literally known as the waterfall capital of the world. So if you're a nature lover, someone that likes to enjoy the trails, go to the parks, enjoy the water, you will absolutely love it here. There's a plethora of options for you and tons and tons of picturesque views. Employment options and small business love. Now, of course, there are a lot of employment options in Toronto, Ontario, and there are also a lot of employment options in Hamilton, Ontario. So you will have great opportunity here at a lot better of a price to live. And when it comes to small business love, if you're looking to start a business here, you will find Hamilton supports their local small businesses to the fullest. And if you're looking to rent a place to start a small business, you'll also pay a lot less. So when I saw these articles coming out that almost 100,000 people left Toronto last year, I wasn't really surprised. Now, I do like Toronto. I do think it's a good place to live. However, affordability-wise, it's getting harder and harder, especially for those that are looking to start a family. Now, tons and tons of people have reached out to me from this channel. I love talking to you guys, and I love helping you with your move from Toronto to Hamilton, showing you where the best areas are to live and the best schools for your kids to go to to make sure that you do not make any mistakes. And if that's something that you're looking to do, feel free to reach out to me, shoot me an email, send me a text, or give me a call. I'd love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys next time.